bentornati I've been on holiday back home in Italy and in this video I want to show you what a typical lunch cooked from my mamma is like at home so this was just a typical day and I'm going to show you how she made some of her favorite dishes I'm also going to include some vocabulary so you can learn new words and also some vocabulary about cooking so what you can see here is huge peppers yes huge peppers have you ever seen peppers that big so i have to say that in italy fruit and vegetables are amazing flavor wise and quality wise so as you can see my mom here is cleaning the peppers so peppers in italian is peperoni careful peperoni with one p and that's why many people make this mistake and order pizza with peppers instead of uh, pepperoni which is the sausage there's no such thing in Italy so qui mia mamma sta pulendo i peperoni here my mom is cleaning the peppers e li sta tagliando a metà and she is cutting them in half the next ingredient for this recipe is ricotta so ricotta cheese and lentils lenticchie my mom is using canned lentils of course you can use fresh lentils if you have more time but let's be honest we are modern women and nowadays you know we are very busy and i think sometimes even if we are we are italian and there is this idea that italians make everything fresh every time all the time uh, sometimes that's not completely true i mean there are shortcuts as in every other country and in this case yes we are using uh, cooked lentils then she put some parmigiano in that, some grated parmesan cheese e un uovo, one egg. In the meantime, she's putting the peppers in the oven to cook. I can't tell you exactly how long for, I guess about 20 minutes. So oven in Italian is forno. That's why sometimes in, even in English menus you can find al forno, which means baked or oven cooked. Then she's mixing all the ingredients together mixing in italian is mescolare finally after a few minutes in the oven she takes the peppers out and she spoons the filling inside so sta riempendo i peperoni o sta mettendo il ripieno the filling nei peperoni and then back in the oven after 5-10 minutes, this is the result. Actually, normally they get a little bit more uh, crispy on top. And excuse this plating with some chips. Those are some of my favorite chips. Uh, they're not very Italian, but I have never found them here in, in England. And they are called nuvole bianche, white clouds, nuvole bianche. And that's all for the first recipe. Now, the main dish, because we are from Liguria, it was focaccia al formaggio. So it's a cheese-filled focaccia. If you have never had focaccia al formaggio, you must, you have to have it, you have to try it. Now, again, my mom took a little shortcut here. So this was like a typical day. It's not a special occasion. Maybe on special occasions, yes, she, she would make it, make it herself. In this case, we bought a ready-made pastry and then we put stracchino cheese on top so stracchino cheese is very difficult to find anywhere else in the world i guess you can find it in italian markets around the world but it's quite challenging and i can't find it in supermarkets in the uk i tried to look for it once because i wanted to try focaccia but i couldn't find it so stracchino cheese melts really really well and uh, you just put it in the middle and then you just put it in the oven and this is the end result yeah it's just really absolutely delicious and because that wasn't enough mom decided to make some fried focaccette uh, a small version of the big focaccia but fried and focaccette because it literally means little focaccias so every time you have ette, it means little and, and pretty. So to fry in Italian is friggere. That's why fritte is fried. 
basically you make them in the same way as, as you make focaccia but um, you close it in that shape in the square sort of ravioli shape but they're very big they're quite big um, and then you fry it on both sides and this is the end result and they are amazing I should have filmed the moment when I cut it in the middle with the cheese oozing uh, from the focaccetta but I didn't I guess we were too busy eating so these were the main dishes she made for us as you can see Italian food is quite simple food simple ingredients put together to make delicious dishes so this is the table I had like a little um, aperitivo with some crudino which is a beverage that's one of my favorite drink with lots of herbs and spices so with crudino I enjoyed some prosciutto cotto so some ham there are different kinds of ham we had both uh, one that you get from the shop it's already um, pre-packed and it's really nice or uh, the one you get from the um, deli in Italian deli is bancone usually in the supermarket you have il bancone dei salumi which is the cold meats uh, deli and obviously I recommend you to go and get um, that one because it's uh, fresh probably better quality but I like both and then I normally have some cheese as well I forgot to video it and then after lunch of course I am a huge dessert lover so I had a cannolo un cannolo yeah cannolo singular cannoli is plural so I had a frozen one here because um, obviously if you're in Sicily you can find fresh cannoli in uh, Liguria it's a little bit more difficult to find them so it was a frozen one but still really nice with a nice cup of coffee a little cup una tazzina di caffè so ho bevuto un caffè fatto con la mocha so questo era il mio pranzo farò altri video dove vi mostrerò cos'altro ho mangiato durante le mie vacanze anche al ristorante I hope this video has been useful for you maybe you can try some of these recipes yourselves too you can let me know in the comments if you ever tried anything similar or your favorite Italian recipe to make at all if you are interested in learning more about the Italian culture and language subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video ciao